Aloha friends, I am back again making another recipe. This one is going to be the easy simple mochi recipe. It calls for sweet rice flour. I'm going to use the Mochiko brand. This one is gluten free. I'm going to use about a cup of this along with a cup of water and then half a cup of just plain um, white sugar. You're going to need um, you're going to need a steamer pot. This one I'm just going to use a small one because I'm going to use um, just enough uh, sweet rice flour to be able to fit into this bowl. This bowl fits perfectly into here but you could always double or triple this recipe and um, use the sugar to taste but definitely use sugar because the sugar allows for the the sweet rice flour to be um, elastic -y. Um, so definitely need the sugar on that. Muchiko is a famous uh, Japanese dessert, but uh, now it's getting really popular among all um, Asian desserts. Um, now you could eat this with um, simple um, anko beans, which is the red bean paste. And then um, also you could have it with like anko and strawberries or with uh, strawberries and Nutella. Um, I always use the Coco Almond spread over at Trader Joe's. It's a lot healthier than Nutella. But for this particular recipe, I am going to use um, my ube, which I have made last night. And it's nice and cooled into the refrigerator. If you guys want to see a video of ube halaya or the ube filling, I do have a recipe on this channel and then I will link it um, below. So let's just go ahead and get started. I went ahead and filled my pot with about just a quarter of water and then place the steamer on top and then put this into the stove. Um, midi uh, medium high heat is fine. I have half a cup of sugar in here and also a cup of the mochiko or the sweet uh, glutinous rice flour. And I have a cup of water. I'm just going to pour that in there. And then I'm going to mix this really well. This is how easy it is to make mochiko. So let me go ahead and mix this until it's well blended. Here is my dough and I've mixed it really well. All the lumps are out of the, the sugar and the mochiko with the, the water mixture. And what you want is to have like a, like a Play-Doh consistency of not too thick but not, uh, not too runny at all. And if you need to add more water, then just do it um, a tablespoon at a time. And then if you feel like it's too runny, then just add a little bit more of the, the sweet rice flour. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do your, um, your steaming. So cover your lid with a cloth, just like that. Um, okay, just like that. Because this will prevent the steam water to go into your mochiko because you don't want that because then they'll have a lot of uh, droplets of water. My pot of water is now boiling. I took out the steamer pot and this is just a perfect fit to go in there. And I did not want to have to use up my like huge steamer. I wanted to use this one up so that's how it's going to look for me. Cover this up like this and then we're going to steam it for about 20 to 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, you're left with this. Halfway through cooking, I did um, stir it up a little bit just to make sure that it's going to be evenly cooked. And you're looking for like, um, like a see-through, like it's almost translucent. Then what we're going to do is roll it out onto um, some type of flour. Now you can use uh, cornstarch, you can use potato starch, you can use arrowroot. So work on it as soon as you get it out of the pot and then put it in here and then we're going to start rolling it onto um, whatever uh, starch that you want to use. For today, I am using a Japanese brand of potato starch. Alright, so I have it here. It's still hot. I'm going to cover it a little bit with uh, potato starch and then also my hand so be careful when you work with it because it is hot but as you roll it it gets easier um, I'm just using an oversized baking sheet to roll it makes the cleanup so much easier yeah. you can also use a rolling pin 
and then roll it out and then use cookie cutters to cut out the size that you want but for me I just like to work um, work it a little bit knead it a little bit and then I once it's nice and warm then I go ahead and start getting little pieces for my my type of uh, filling for the muchiko now with this there are so many varieties of what you can do with this mochiko right here. This is just an easy, simple, basic mochiko recipe. You could use this, um, you could roll it out flat and then um, slice it and cut it into like little tiny chunks. You can put it into your frozen yogurt, put it into, um, we have a Filipino dish called halo halo, which is like shaved ice. Um, and then it has like red beans and ice cream and milk on top. You could also put those little chunks of pieces onto your shave ice. So there are so many possibilities of what you could do with this basic muchiko recipe. So like that. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's not um, not too hot anymore. So all you have to do is kind of roll it out. Okay, get enough on your hand, but not too much. And then you're gonna pinch and pull. So you're gonna pinch and pull and this inside of it where you separated it is a little bit sticky so you just put a little bit of cornstarch there and then you kind of flatten it with your fingers like that see and that's when you can start filling it or like I said you can flatten it like this and then be able to just slice it and then put it into like maybe small pieces and put it over shave ice like that. frozen yogurt as topping just like when you go to the frozen yogurt places and they have those uh, different kinds of toppings you can add that we can um, I'm also going to show you guys a recipe later on um, of how I use this basic mochiko of how I use this basic mochiko recipe to make mochiko ice cream for dessert now you can fill this with um, your anko red bean paste you can fill it with chocolate and then just cover it and I'm gonna give you guys an example so here's a strawberry okay and then you're just gonna fill it like that I'm gonna show you guys how to close it so you're just gonna go one end one end one end and then pull and then pinch you're gonna pinch and then you're gonna so this is just a sample but you're going to kind of shape it into the palm of your hand like a ball and then there you have a filling. I hope you guys enjoyed this basic recipe.